Recently on the show, we've talked about fungicide use and we've said you've got to spray early. But there is a limit to it when it comes to corn. There certainly is. We're, we're out way too early to be spraying well, fungicide in corn. Well, you could actually corn, spray at this point. But the, if, the whole if thing. If you had some disease. But in, in our part of the country, <laughs> we don't have real significant disease in corn. The breeding has been excellent. And for the most part, we've taken care of a lot of those early season diseases that used to show up in corn way back when. Now, we're faced with diseases that happen later on in the season when we get into the hotter part of the summer, and especially when we get around tasseling time and, and shortly thereafter, well, see that, we see a lot more diseases out in corn. But here's, here's what the problem was from last year. A lot of people took this tasseling thing and they, they heard people talking about, oh, you want to spray at tassel. That's the best time to get the most yield out of your corn fungicide. And they thought, well, we always want to be early with fungicides, so let's even hit it right before tassel. That is something you do not want to do. In fact, there was yield loss in some cases when fungicide was sprayed just at the very wrong time. So you've got to make sure you're not only waiting for full tassel, for all the tassels in the field to come out, but even for silking to begin. So what I would do is once your field starts to tassel, probably wait another week or 10 days, then you're in around the right time frame to start spraying fungicide. So just don't spray too early when it comes to fungicide application in corn. Well, with the value of today's corn crop, there's no question that it should be looked at as a specialty crop. Think about 200 bushel corn at five plus dollars per bushel. That's over a thousand dollars gross per acre of corn out there. That's a lot of money. And you have to protect that money with whatever it takes, whether it's insecticide, herbicide, you've got to keep everything out of there, including diseases. Now, as corn producers in America, a lot of us haven't thought about disease problems, especially if you're towards the Western Corn Belt where we farm, because, you know, it's been drier. We typically don't have a lot of these disease problems that guys have been facing in the Southern part of the country for a long time. But here's the thing. We've had one of the wettest springs that we can remember. We've had one of the coldest springs we can remember. When does disease usually become more of a problem? When it's cold and when it's wet. Now not super cold, but I mean just cooler than normal. We don't have a lot of 100 degree days in June or anything like that. I mean, I'm still wearing a coat and it's late June. So, you know, it's just a different year and we're just concerned that we're going to have a lot of disease pressure in corn. And certainly you don't have to spray fungicide in your corn or anything like that. You'll probably still get a decent corn crop. But if you're trying to get extra yield and extra income this year, it's something you might want to take a look at. Okay, let's talk about the fungicides real quickly. A lot of people are talking about Headline, mainly because BSF has done a tremendous amount of advertising with it. Headline's fine, but there are other products you could use as well. Stratego is very good, or even Quilt. There is a problem with Headline supply this year. You might not be able to get Headline if you can't, it's not that big a deal. On our farm, we're using a lot of Stratego. I really like that product. But again, there are other products to pick. So if you can't find Headline, don't get too worried about it. We think Stratego is just as good, if not even better. Well, one thing, if you want to have maximum yields is great weed control. We'll show you how to kill this tough weed coming up next.